For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can change the advertised name of a Bluetooth device inside of CircuitPython. So this you may recognize is my little Bluetooth sensor board and I've got a Stemma QT slider on there and a battery. Uh, I've got it plugged in right now just so that I can code it in real time as we go here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up an app on my phone. Uh, so this is looking for Bluetooth devices and you can see it's found one. It's called CircuitPy 9CA6. Oh, uh, that's not a very nice name, but that's what this is advertising itself as right now. So what I'm gonna do is in my code, I'm going to add just this one line here. I've just uncommented it actually. And this is BLE, which is the name of the, the Bluetooth low energy object here, the BLE dot name. That's it, BLE dot name, and then you give it a string. So in this case, I'm calling it BLE MIDI fader. I will go ahead and save uh, my code here to the board. And then I'm gonna reset the board. So I'm gonna press, oh, I didn't even need to actually, it just showed up on its own. So you'll see there my app, which is looking for advertised Bluetooth devices, now found something called BLE MIDI Fader, which is much more descriptive, much more helpful. And this way you can distinguish if you have multiple objects available instead of just this generic circuit Pi name. And so that is how you can customize the name of your Bluetooth device using CircuitPython. And that's your CircuitPython Parsec.